Hello and welcome again. In the previous video, we were discussing uh, the X boxes of the F function. And remember what we had here in the F function was the right hand side of the previous block of 64 bits. Uh, that takes in here 32 bits because it's the right hand side divided by 2. And then we saw also the expansion permutation. We saw how that works and it is uh, using a table. Uh, and it expands this 32 bits into 48 bits uh, using the table defined here. We also saw that um, a while ago how to do the SOAR of two things. So this is, uh, we already know how to do this. Uh, and of course, a 48 uh, bit comes from here. And then what happens after that is we divide it into eight blocks of six bits. And each of these X boxes uh, has a particular table that handles the this transformation. It takes a six bit and transforms it into a four bit. And finally, after that, you put all the six bits together, blocks, put it in a 32 bit and do the permutation. So this is the only part we haven't looked at yet, the permutation. But that's actually the easy part here of of all the uh, the X boxes here. So it's it's much easier than that. Now uh, last in the last video, um, I actually put up this uh, picture here. Um, if you recall that, so it's basically a copy of the previous picture, and those are the examples we looked at last time. So we look at uh, assuming that I have six bits here in this uh, first block, and six bits here in this uh, blocks and the sixth block, and so we saw an example of how to transform this bit using the as as box x1 and it was this one right here and we also saw this example with this one here in this position using the box x6 of course all the boxes are going to be different and they're going to be handled with a different kind of table so what i want to do now is show you what the tables are so this is the x boxes this is the box x1 and remember what you do is you look at the row first and then the column and that's all you have to transform the uh the six bits so that's the uh, box x1 then you have the box x2 i'm going quickly through this because if uh, if you don't um actually practice with these tables they don't mean anything to use just a table uh, this is an s3 uh, s4 and of course you're gonna have the x5 which is right there x6 x7 and A is 8. So I will pause this uh, so you can have access to these tables. Uh, so when you implement this, or not you implement, but somebody implements this, the DES, then they will have to implement these tables as well. Again, they don't mean anything to you as, as if you don't practice with them. So it's just for your information there, just for your information. Now, uh, the last part, and so let me look at the picture again of the F function. So we explained all this already, the expansion permutation, the sorry, we know how to do it, the X, box, X boxes, you already know what the tables are. The last, the very last part here is the permutation that's gonna transform this 32 bits here into 32 bits, basically rearranging uh, the bits that are coming from here. Because when you put together this four bit with this one, with this one in this order, you have a 32 bits because you have four bits of for each block and you have eight blocks. So you have eight times four, that's a 32. And then the permutation is gonna get rearranged this 32 bits into, of course, another 32 bits. So this uh, permutation also has a table. That's the last part we need to discuss about the F function. So, so let's look at that. That is the table for that permutation. And as you can imagine, it works exactly the same as the initial final permutation works. So we're gonna read this uh, table from the first row, which is the top row, to the bottom, left to right. Same thing you uh, used to read in English, so you read like this. And what they mean is exactly what they mean for the, uh, for the tables, for the permutations. So for this position here, 16, it means that the position, uh, the bit in position 16 will go to position one. So let me write that down. Uh, 16 will go to one. And then if you look at the second here, that's seven. So the bit in position seven will go to position 
uh, 2, 7, we'll go to position 2. And if you look at the 20, 20, we'll go to position 3, and so on and so forth. So similar to what we did for the initial and the, and the initial permutation and the initial permutation inverse. And remember that this permutation here is going to act on 32 bits. So it takes a block of 32 bits and transform that in a 32 bit block. So if I have a picture here of a 32 bit, so this is my, my 32 bits here. These are the ones that are coming after the X boxes are done. So this, uh, this block here of 32 bits, this one right here, is the one that comes from the X boxes. Let me show you the picture here. Is the one that is right here, this, this, in this position, basically. That's a 32 bit. I apply the permutation, and then again, I get an, another 32 bit block using the table that I have here. All right, so, so as, I, as, I, as I just said already, uh, this is how the transformation of the bits is gonna go. So let me just do a couple of them. Let's say, for example, we do the, the bit in position 16, which should be somewhere in the middle of that block there. So let me indicate that by saying something like this. This could be something like this. This will be my bit in position uh, 16. And because I'm saying that uh, 16 goes to 1, because that's exactly what I had over here, 16 goes to 1, whatever bit is in that position is going to go to position 1. So for example, if I put a, let's say, just for uh, example, let's say I, we have a 1 there, then that 1 will go to position uh, 1 in the permutation. So it will go here. So it will be a 1 there. Similarly, it's going to happen with uh, the bit in position 7 will go to position 2. So 7, uh, that bit should be somewhere around here. Of course, um, what I'm doing here is not a scale. Uh, I, I cannot do that because my, my screen is not that that big. So, so this is a 7. So that whatever bit is in that position, let's say in this case we put a 0 there. That will go to position two. So let me use the same color. And so that will go to position two here. So that will be a zero. As you can see here, uh, this uh, permutation um, is the same idea as the initial permutation for the DS and the uh, permutation inverse. So it's the same, the same idea. And so, and so that's it. That's all for the F function. So the F function is completely described. We now know how the inner functions of the f function work. Everything so far we discussed it already. Let me go back here and let me emphasize that. Uh, we know the final permutation, the one we just saw there. We know how these x boxes act on six bits. We know how to do the SOAR. We also know how to do that. Uh, we also know how to do this expansion permutation. Uh, and that's it. That's all that the f function is doing. So we went in through all the details of the f function here. Now, there is only one thing that is missing from the DES, and that is the keys. So we haven't discussed that yet, which is the key schedule. So I remember what happens is I have a key K, which is 56 bits. And what happens is I want to um, get 16 keys. Uh, 16 keys or sub keys, all of them with 48 bits. And that's what we call the key schedule. And that's the thing that we haven't discussed yet. Now, once we discuss that, we have completely described all the inner workings of the DES. So that, that's the final thing we will do. The final thing we will do will be looking at what this is a uh, key schedule, how that works, how you get that 56 uh, bits and transform that into 16 sub keys of 48 bits. So we will do that in the next video. So I'll see you uh, later.